Let's say about uh, register storage class specifier. Now, whenever you declare a local variable, any variable, when you define it, all the variables will be stored inside random access memory. Okay, it will be stored inside random access memory. If these are auto variables, it will be stored inside an stack area. It will be stored inside an stack area. Whereas if it is an static variables, it will be stored in an initialized variable area. Now, if you have given here a value is equals to 10 and then b is equals to 20 and here in an expression a c equals to a plus b within a program. Now this a and b will assume that it is present inside the stack area. So let's I'll, let's take only an stack part. So for this a and b, so 2 2 bytes will be allocated in the stack area. And here you are given c is equals to a plus b. So let's take even that c has been also declared as an local variable so c also is occupying some stack area so when you give your c is equals to a plus b how exactly this expression gets evaluated so what happens is this a and b value is present inside this stack let's take here a value is in 10 and b value is in 20. the so what values are present inside random access memory with that value directly the evaluation doesn't take all evaluation takes place inside an processor so we call that you'll be having a processor called as a microprocessor microprocessor where all the evaluation takes place and inside this microprocessor you have an unit called as an arithmetic and logic unit all arithmetical and logical operations take place inside this ALE unit so how this expression works if you give your c equals to a plus b what happens is microprocessor will Go to the random access memory, search this A location, fetch that value 10 and store inside in its memory. So there is a small amount of memory inside a microprocessor itself. We call it as a GPR. That is a general purpose registers. GPR stands for general purpose registers. So what it does is to evaluate this A plus B, so it goes, the microprocessor goes to the random access memory stack area, fetch this 10, store into one register. And then again, again, once again, goes to the random access memory, fetch the value of B, and then again, store into this. Then it will perform an arithmetical operation inside this ALE unit. And the result will be stored in a special register called as an accumulator. That is, the result is 30. And from that accumulator, again, the value will be passed to an random access memory. So this is how this expression works. And again, to perform that, first it has to place the address of this A into an address bus. Okay, then it has to issue an memory read instruction. Then RAM will go and search that address, that is an A address that is 10, fetch the value, and then it will store into this GPR. So this will be performed for every variable it goes and access from the random access memory. Now, instead of storing the variable inside a random access memory, that's in stack area or initialized variable area, why not we store directly into a GPR? That is, if I give you an int a comma b comma c, the memory allocation shouldn't take place inside the stack area. It should get allocated inside this GPR. So for doing that, C language provides you a keyword called as a register. So where you can give a register int a comma b comma c. So when you give a a comma b comma c, okay. So this a b c now it will not get allocated inside this RAM. It will get allocated directly inside your processor. So let's take this as a microprocessor. Inside this microprocessor, let's take this as a general purpose register area. Now one register is been allocated for this a. So second register may be allocated for B and then third register may be allocated into MC. So when you give now A is equals to 10, the value is not stored inside this RAM area. It will be stored directly inside this general purpose register. So when you give B is equals to 20, 
So when you give B is equals to 20, then the 20 will get stored in this GPR. And when you give C is equals to A plus B, so already the value is there inside microprocessor. It fetched the value and then generated the result and the result has been stored inside the C. There is no question of going to a random access memory, fetch the value, store into the register. And all. So here by going for this register, you increase the program execution speed. That is why we go for an register. All local variables, only local variables can be declared, can be declared as an register. The scope of that variable is only within that program and all register variables are stored in a general purpose register.